Hello guys, it's your boy Baby Blooper, and today I'm hitting you guys with a uh, Roblox video, and today I got a fun one. Uh, I really like space and stuff. Space is just really cool, rockets and everything. So today I'm playing the uh, I, I forgot what it's called. It's a tester rocket. It's where you get rockets. You know, well, yeah, you test out rockets, fly them in space. It, it, it's really cool. Now I uh, I was playing around with the little for it I, I was playing around with it a little bit and i i didn't know you can't restart it so i i kind of already have some points but I'll, I'll just go through the rockets that i have i have this one through this one i think okay but i also have all these ones that we have to go through today so i'm gonna go through the i'm gonna start off with this one this was one of the first rockets that were actually tested and I already forgot what it's called. Um, let me check. Good Goddard One. It's it's launching into space and to, to boldly go where no man's gone before. Well, that was just uh, altitude of so much. Let's get the second rocket up here. This one's a little bit bigger, and I'm pretty sure you can go on with this like this. Yeah, look at the rocket view. This is a good rocket. Oh. Okay, I'm coming right down. I think I'm gonna land right on that boat. I'm gonna crash on the boat. Watch out, people! Whoa! Oh, wow, that's that pretty accurate. Now this one looks a little more specific, sophisticated. So I'm gonna launch this one. And get on that camera view. Let's see how high this one goes. These rockets are really cool. As I said before, I really like space. Yes, space. And, okay, this one's falling really fast. And space is pretty cool. Uh, we, we learned about it in school, and I just liked it a lot. Oh, um, I'm stuck, man. What's, what's up? Oh, wow. Let's get on to the third rock, fourth rocket, right? This one. This one. This one's a good one. Oh, uh, yeah, this one, you, ha you get to actually drop the booster. Like, these things, these things are the boosters. And then once you get, it, it, when this goes down, hold on, I'll show you guys. Watch. So this is the rocket. When it launches, when this gets to zero, you hit drop boosters, and then the boosters fly off, and then the core, which is like the main shaft of it, will um, use that fuel inside of there. And then once that gets to zero, you release the satellite, and then you get research points. So it's pretty, it's pretty dang cool. If you ask me, this is. This is just awesome space, you know what I mean? Now, there's a lot of weight eating to this, but it's pretty fun. You just send rockets into space. How is that not fun? And now, in about now, we're gonna release the satellite. There we go, we're gonna get all the research points. Yeah, and it does, it is a little buggy, so if it like freeze, it, like this will freeze sometimes, that's that's no problem, because it, it's, a, it's a game about space, you know, what can go wrong. Now, as you can see, we're dropping altitude really fast, and it burned up. Now, let's get on to the next one, which is this one, yep. This is one, this one has two drop stages, and then a release. Let's go to space. That's what I like to see. I like going to space because this is my space rocket. You know what I mean? Okay, but I'm pretty sure once you get to like the bigger rockets, it gets a little more cooler than this. Like I know this is kind of a little boring a little bit. Just wait till you get to the bigger rockets. Big rockets, new heights of space, bigger altitudes, and, and the whole shebang, you know what I mean? And once we get this, oh wow, this is, this is getting pretty tiny, guys. We're about to release that satellite so we can get some research points up in here. Okay, and we're releasing satellite and we are really high up. Oh, this is what I'm talking about by freezing. It freezes up and yeah. Okay, well, we did get a little research points from it. So let's end it. You know what? I think I'm gonna go back to the one I just did, the, duh, the, the Sputnik. Because this one, I got a lot of research points. And I only need 20 more to get the new rocket. And I haven't seen that rocket yet. So, let's get on this. Let's go. We're going on a trip. In my favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky. Little blooper signs. Hey, climb aboard. Get ready to explore. This is so oh, awesome. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're about to drop the boosters. This is great. This is, we're gonna get all the research data. This is this is a little bit like a patient game. You gotta be like very patient with this. And and but we're about to get drop the research. Release satellite. There we go. It's up in space. Like you know what's so weird? Like take how big space is, and then take how small you are. Like. Just think about how small you are and how big the universe is. Like, there's so many different questions. Like, does space just keep going? Like, what's beyond space? Like, well, how, how do we know? There's like, we're not in a big shoebox. You know what I mean? I don't know, there's a lot of questions about space. Say, uh, as humans, we may never find out. So that's why we need to explore. We're about to get my, the new one, the free. Oh wait, no, the Vostok one. And wait, hold, whoa, hold on. These have descriptions. I haven't read this. Okay, I'm gonna start with the first one, the first rocket. Launched in 1926, the Goddard One was an experimental rocket constructed by American inventor and Professor Robert H. Goddard. It was the first liquid fuel rocket ever and marks the beginning of the modern rockery. I think I just missaddled a couple of those words. Then the V2. The V-2, or technically A-4 rocket, was used by the Germans near end of the World War II. Two British cities, Warner von Braun and his team, who designed the rockets, they did become influential in the United States rocket programs. Then this is the Viking rocket. After World War II, the United States began experimenting with rockets. The Viking rockets were the result of Viking 1 first launched in 1949 whoa i'm gonna roll on these ones whoa okay whoa okay whoa i don't know why i'm saying whoa whoa okay this is a long one so strap yourselves in in 1957 the ussr launched the sputnik one satellite with okay, you know what, let me just let me restart that one i promise it will be much better <coughs> 1957, the USSR launched the Sputnik 1 satellite with an R-7 rocket, kicking off the space race with the United States. Sputnik 1 became the first artifi artificial satellite. The R-7 family of rockets is still in use by Russians, making the longest used family of rockets. I think I messed up a lot <laughs> on that one. After the Soviet... Oh, no, I, I can't speak today, I'm sorry guys. After the Soviets launched the Sputnik 1 in 1957, the United States dashed to match the achievement. And a few months later, the USA used a Jupiter-C rocket to launch Explorer 1. Much smaller, but more far more but far more advanced than Sputnik 1. Now we're at the Vostok 1. On April 12, 1961, the USSR beat the United States with a man in space by less than a month. Vostok 1 carried cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin into one successful orbit, after which he ejected from capsule with a parachute. I, I can get in this one, so I'm so happy. This is what I've waited for. I'm a space man. Oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't look at me. Okay guys, my name, my blooper here in um, We got this, we got this launching. Launching, we're we launching, yes we're launching. Okay, um, no, let's get a outside view. We are at speeds of about 300 and we're about to drop the boosters. Drop the boosters, woo. Now, look at this spaceship, isn't this amazing? It, it's, it's pretty incredible with all its unique designs. Now we're about to drop this, and I'm pretty sure once we drop the second thing, it's gonna drop this whole shaft right here, and then it's gonna capsule, it's gonna go back down to Earth like a boss. Oh my God, we're at 20,000 feet in the air. Okay, well, we're falling back to Earth really fast. If you can look at that speed, Okay, the guy in here is dead. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, how do you breathe? Honestly, I don't have a spacesuit on, and I'm just casually coming back down to Earth with no spacesuit on. Maybe I was in the atmosphere, I don't know. You gotta breathe somehow. Okay, now, what is this? Oh, oh, yeah, at the clear launch pad and end this mission. Well. You see that? That's how you do it. Let's see. What is this one? The sat? Oh no, we're at the frame seven. 
I'm gonna read the description of this one. Soon after the Vostok won- Whoa. Whoa, I don't even know where I just- I just pulled out of my mouth. Soon after the Vostok mission launched a human into orbit, the United States matched the achievement by sending Alan Shepard into space on May 5th, 1961, aboard the Mercury Redstone rocket. Whoa! That's a pretty neat rocket, I say there, I do say myself. Alan Shepard's a lucky man. Oh, this is like a one thing. Oh, whoa. Okay, this rocket looks cool. And there's only one drop stage. One drop stage. That's how, that's how lit America was back then. We were like, you see how uh, this has, this rocket right here has three drop stages? We're, we're America, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna make it one drop stage, one drop stage, and we're gonna send America into space. Once, okay, wait, wait, what am I supposed to do after this? Does it just stop and then we float back down to Earth? Please say that's what it is, cause I. Okay, do I hit drop stage one? Nope. Okay, we're just we're, we're falling down. Okay, our speeds are increasing, and my altitude is dropping. Don't think I'm gonna make it. I leave. I leave my channel to to uh to Jeff and oh wait I made it never mind Jeff you get nothing nothing I tell you okay would you look at that that's that's a successful mission I say so myself now let's clear the launch pad and end this mission I want to fly these things I just want to like drive it actually drive it if I got to drive a spaceship oh wait, wait hold on if I drive a spaceship I'll be happy but I want to read what this guy's got to say one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Okay, I can either say, you fraud, you never landed on the moon. Hey man, good job for landing on the moon, or goodbye. Oh wait, we're talking to Neil Armstrong here. We gotta say, hey man, good job. Oh, sorry Neil Armstrong. I, I failed you. Now we're gonna go build bigger rockets. Now we're going on the Saturn V Apollo. Now. I'm gonna read the description like always. Okay, here we go. The largest rocket ever made, the three-stage Saturn V Apollo, designed by NASA, was the first for carrying astronauts to the moon. It was first tested in 1967, and a rocket used in 1969 to carry Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the moon. Like a boss, you right there. Are you guys ready for this? This is this is it. We get to go to the moon. Wait, this is like the mission that duh, duh, what's his face? Uh, the but Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong over there. Hey, Neil, you wanna come on with me? No, you're too, too busy standing there. Okay, well, I gotta go to the moon. T minus 10 seconds to launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Last off. Okay. Any second now. Houston, we have lift off. <laughs> Clapping, yeah, woo. Yeah. Okay, we're there. I hope we get to the moon soon, guys. What was it, like a four day mission that it took them? Where are we? We're at the moon. One, one, one step for mankind, uh, human, humans, uh, I forgot the speech already. And one giant leap for mankind. Isn't that great? Now, this, the moon is pretty comfy up here. Wait, is this for me? I think it's for me. Okay, I'm getting on this thing. What does this do? Come on, I wanna get up front. Okay, there we go. We turn the earth. Bye, moon. Okay, so, well, well, hi guys, it's Blooper. Just gonna, you know what, I'll be back once we get down to earth because this is gonna take a while. So, see you guys when we get back down to earth. Okay guys, I'm back down to earth and I'm ready to send more rockets. Uh, I don't even have enough. I gotta go back on another trip. Wait, what if I just stay on the moon? Wait, did I get like points for like being on the moon? Let's launch. We're gonna do this successfully this time. Okay, T minus five, four, three, two, one. Houston, we got liftoff. Here we go. Let's go. 
let's go and um so this game it's, it's a good game i like it i like it a lot i do i like space i like rockets i like blowing things up so i got 20 seconds 10 and flagellies you know those are your fingers flagellies and uh your 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 jaw is actually called your mandible and your skull is called your cranium remember that you'll learn that if you haven't already learned it okay we're 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 just going up to the moon okay that's the moon that's the moon that's the moon that's the moon we're at the moon we just went straight through the moon but wait what is going on here sorry moon moon boom no 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 i didn't get enough points please take me back no! What is going on? Let's go! Okay. So I just messed up. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna make a part two because this is getting really kind of long. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I wanna tell you what you guys gotta do. You gotta hit that like button. I wanna see what, what? 20,000 subscribers, not 20,000 subscribers, 20,000 likes, that's right, and slap that subscribe button, and slap that like button. I'll see you guys in part two. Goodbye guys, stay fresh.